In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create this kind of image gallery in our WordPress website. So here we will use a free plugin and we'll create this kind of amazing gallery. And when you click on this image, we'll get this kind of light box. This is cool, amazing, elegant layout. And here I'm using DV theme, but this is not DV based plugin. You can use this plugin with any theme. And if you are a photographer, that case this plugin is best match for you. So without wasting too much time, let's get started. First, I'm going to dashboard, then going to plugins and add new plugins. And here I'm searching for justify gallery. So this is the plugin we are going to install. Then activate it. Okay, for this time, I'm going to skip it. Here is the plugin settings page. Here is last row align left. Here is several options space between images, three pixel and row height. So here is different options. I'm just leaving all as default. Now I'm going to create our first gallery. So I'm going to my page and going here. Here I want to add a new gallery. So I'm going to enable visual builder. Here I'm using DV theme, but you can do this with any theme. Taking a new module, I'm taking a text module and going to visual editor and here i'm just removing all text and going to add media you will find these options with any text module or default text module just go to image and here is gallery options we will create default gallery from wordpress create gallery here i'm taking some images I'm taking some random. Okay, now create new gallery. Insert gallery and save it. Saving this page. Now I'm just uh, exit visual builder. Okay, so now you can see our gallery is loaded. This is masonry type gallery and here is the default structure and default layout for this plugin here is the hover effect and when you click on this you can see here is the light box for this image here is number of image here is image title and here is zoom in zoom out options here it full screen and here you can find some share option we can share our image to Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and even we can download image. And this is cross button. Here is next. Okay, so now I will do some customization to look it more better. So for this, I'm just going to the settings page. Here is row height. I'm increasing the row height to 350 pixel and save changes now refresh my page yeah so now you can see our image is in bigger size and this layout will be good for any photographer or image displaying site and here i will do some customization using css so here is some css i have already created i'm just going to copy all the css I'm going to DV, DV theme options. You can add this CSS into your CSS adding options. I'm adding here all my CSS for this gallery and then save changes. Okay, now I'm going to refresh my page. And if we open the light box, we can see this is looking different and looks good. And if we don't like this hover effect and this transparency layer, then we can also hide it. I'm adding some CSS for it. Display none. And it's working. 
here I'm adding my extra CSS. I will leave this CSS page link in my description so you can get the CSS code from here. Okay, so this is now our final design. And here is some code I have added in last line. Here is only for DV theme. So here I have added this gallery next and previous icon using DV icon. So if you are not using DV theme, you can skip this CSS. And here we are using this plugin. This is Justified Gallery. This is completely free. I have tried many pro plugins, many free plugins, but I have found this plugin very simple, easy to manage and elegant designed. And this plugin also have a pro versions. So if you upgrade this plugin, they will give more features for pro versions. So you will get all free features, additional speed up feature and light box customization options and much more. So I hope this tutorial will help you. If this tutorial adds some value to you, please give this video a big thumbs up. Otherwise, you may not find my more upcoming tutorial next time. And if you are new here, like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you and welcome to my next tutorial.